Hey guys, Mighty Mr. Mustache here, the mightiest mustache in the universe, even the Destiny universe. And with the run-up coming to Destiny 2, the hardest thing to play about Destiny 1 is finding things to keep you going and keep you interested. Fortunately, it is reset day. We have all new challenges and all new things to go after. Maybe pick up those last little bits of your collection. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little phlegmy today. And... Um, you know, just get in there with your buddies and have a good time. If you're a Crucible player, uh, Mayhem Rumble is the weekly thing to do. And Mayhem Rumble is always just mad fun. You can't go into that one um, salty or serious because it's absolute chaos. Uh, if you don't know what Mayhem is and you haven't had a chance to play it, um, well, chances are you've been hiding under a rock instead of playing Destiny. But at the same time, uh, mayhem just means that everything, your grenades, your melee, your super, they recharge six, seven, ten times as fast. I don't know the exact number, but you're just constantly, constantly having your grenades and your supers up so you can just throw them all over the place. So don't expect to um, expect to either do really, really well or just constantly be dying as you spawn in from, you know, the supers flying across the screen. It's chaos. It, it is fun, though, if you approach it from... Um, uh, I don't know, a backyard water gun fight sort of mentality. And then you're all right. In the weekly story playlist, the Iron Lords are gone. It's up to you to finish their final mission. So it is the Iron Lords, uh, last, the last DLC story playlist with Heroic, as always, Void Burn, and Small Arms. So if you happen to be lucky enough to pick up the Will of Crota, Sorry, the word of Crota, not the wealth, the word of Crota pistol, or Atheon's epilogue, or the Doom of Chelchish, which are, are the um, the void energy type um, raid challenge primaries. There's a lot of different words to remember. Uh, I can English, I can, I can brain, I promise. Those are going to be really handy for you. Uh, taking down small arms and void burn means having a small arm so a primary weapon that does void burn will do literally triple damage to anything you hit phenomenal way to just blast your way through these things the siva crisis heroics for the week have heroic as always um, heroic just means there's more enemies and they're tougher uh, solar burn solar burn means ooh, my vision of confluence gets to come out and play it's gonna be a lot of fun the pulse rifle from King's Fall uh, I believe it's called the smite of Murane is also good for that and there's something something from oh all the rest of them have have some solar weapon as well those are my two favorites I'm not gonna go too crazy Berserk means the enemies don't flinch. Uh, you'll notice with most enemies, especially the tougher ones, if you do enough damage, let's say with a headshot, with a sniper, even if it doesn't kill them, they'll tend to stagger a bit. They don't. They do not stagger and they will charge you. Brawler, though, means that you do double damage with your melee. And it's not just a charged melee, it's any time you throw a punch. So having them charge at you could work in your favor if you're quick enough off the mark. The weekly nightfall strike this week we'll get back to in a sec because I'm going to show you what it is. And the raid this week is Vault of Glass. So if you still haven't got that all elusive um, Vex Mythoclast or the last bits of armor, now is the chance. As always, the Templar challenge, you cannot let him teleport. It's become almost the standard way to get it done anyhow because... Nobody really cares if it, it's it's quite quite easy if you have somebody who knows how to run back and forth keeping him from teleporting, and the rest of your team just beats the snot out of the Templar, no problem. The Atheon challenge is trickier because obviously uh, you have to rotate people into the portals so that each of them takes out their oracle. Um, I've talked about how to do the Athe Atheon challenge in other videos. Basically, each member of your team has to kill one oracle and only one out of the six meaning no one can die and no one can kill two through the oracles and since three people get teleported to where the oracles are the other three are going to have to rotate it and out it takes some practice and it takes some timing but it's not as hard as it sounds uh when obviously if you want to do this when it's not challenge mode the three people who go in kill all six oracles come out and then you just do a damage cycle on atheon mm. uh it's again going to drop you guaranteed uh primary adept version so in the uh, exotic class Along with, uh, when you're taking down Atheon, always the chance to get the helmet and that really, really, really nice Vex Mythoclast that everyone loves. 
challenge of the elders this week is ironclad small arms and precision ironclad means more of the basic enemies have shields small arms mean that your primary weapon does double damage which is really handy when you're going for precision kills because that means uh, a good hand cannon or scout rifle will just pop almost everything with one shot to the head and the weekly nightfall has berserk they don't flinch small arms you do double damage with a primary weapon chaff meaning you have no radar and match game meaning if an enemy is shielded some of them always are you don't do much damage if you don't have that type so if you can go in with a solar weapon a void weapon and an arc weapon um, then you're going to be pretty good let's go in and take a look at what the nightfall is and that'll give you a good idea of how to build your loadout uh, if 90% of the things are going to have void shields, then take your void class, uh, you know, solar, arc, whatever. You're going to know. Fallen tend to have mostly arc, uh, except for the shanks who are solar, but the shanks aren't that tough, so. That's just the way it goes. I want to thank you for following along with these weekly, uh, these weekly looks at what's going on. Um, if you want to see more info, if you want me to go to the tower or to the reef or anything and see what's available and what the weekly bounties and things are, I absolutely will. Um, I try to keep them short and sweet and give you just a basic rundown of what's coming and what you should be bringing along and what each of the different modifiers means. It is the Dust Palace. Wow. Okay. So you're going to see... Not much in the way of shielding, actually, unless you see a lot of Taken. If it's Taken, they mostly have Arc and Void shields, so not too much solar. The only solar-shielded enemies uh, are going to be Cabal. The Cabal heavies have solar shielding, if if they have shielding at all. Um, if it's Taken that you see more of, again, Void on the Minotaurs, and Arc on the big Cabal boys when they're Taken... Other than that, solar, and then at the end, obviously, one of each for each of those Scion Flayers. Um, not too big a deal. Uh, because there are no burns, you won't be taking any extra damage from any sources. It's really up to you just to help break them down. So, um, yeah, not too bad. I, I think Fireteam Blackwatch, my buddy Justin and my buddy James and I are going to definitely get out and do this one. And I'll pop a video of it so you can see it in action. I think I'm going to call it there. I want to thank you all for joining in. And as always, slap a like, slap a share, subscribe so you don't ever miss any more of my content. And let me know. Let me know what it is you want to see more of. Would you like me to go from place to place and see what the different bounties and what's on offer this week? Doesn't bother me a bit to do it, but I try not to waste your time. Uh, I have been Mighty Mr. Mustache, the mightiest mustache in the universe. Keep on playing. Get on in here. Join our clan if you like. We are all excited as anything for Destiny 2. Can't wait for it to show up. I wish you a great day, and I wish you some great gaming.